Hello guys, Rage Designs here with the Tutorial Tuesday episode, um, this is episode 1, and it will be how to make a broken sphere um, in Cinema 4D, as you see there, broken sphere, used to make backgrounds, desktops, etc. So we're going to be doing this in Cinema 4D today, and you want to open that up. Once you have Cinema 4D open, you I'm going to make a sky, so you go to this line with the arrows. And you go, you click on sky, and as you see, everything is everywhere. It's, it's going to be grey, kind of lightish, greyish. So now to actually create the sphere, the broken sphere. So you want to left click on this cube icon, and you want to go to sphere. Then you want to highlight radius and change it to 150. Change the segments to 40. And I'm going to turn you on to a, a tetrahedron. Um, there are other ones you can do, but I think the tetrahedron looks the nicest. Um, you got the standard tetrahedron, hexahedron, octahedron. I've never actually. But let's try the octahedron. I'm going to try the octahedron. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do octahedron. So once you have that, um, all the all of this here, you wanna make sure sphere click, and you wanna make the the sphere editable. So you wanna click on this sphere, and then now you can now click on this the cube. And that's one second out on the square. Now you should be able to click one individual and drag them out but it doesn't work like that so I'm going to, go to selection select all right click just outside of this um, sphere I'm going to go to extrude mix up it uh, you want to change the, the, the offset to 40 the variation to 90 and you want to make sure preserve groups is unchecked and as you see it gives you enough effects but I'm not too keen not too keen uh, I'm not bothered it's just it's just a little yeah uh, as you see the octa doesn't look as nice as the squares you know trying new things out because this is mine so as you see it looks render this out you see it looks a bit bland like Lewis's train text so I'm gonna I'm gonna make double click on the material tab uh, I'm gonna make this color a nice a nice green I'll make it a dark green optic gaming and you want to change the brightness to about 28 and you want to put that onto the broken sphere and there's there you have the material layer onto the broken sphere. And now you want to create a light, and then you want to drag this up and make sure bring it out away from the sphere. Now you have it, the light it will bright. So you want to go to the bit where it's go to the bit where it's all shiny. Um, it's basically you can animate by moving it about and to make it. We'll render this out to see what it looks like and as you let's see, it looks pretty nice. Um, I think there's one more thing that you go to this. You want to click on the light, go to shadow. Go to shadow again and click on shadow maps soft. Uh, that's the smoothest, and as you see, it might give it a nice little shadow effect around here and to each to the edge. Um, there you go, guys. There is your tutorial. Let's just render this up. Um, I'm gonna render it as an, an image, so 
I go to general and if I know let's do it like how I done another one on my background so I wanna click on general width twelve eighty by seven twenty um leave it like that current frame save it I wanna save it as no I wanna save it as tutorial and click these dots and I'm gonna save it to my desktop and as a a quick time PNG, so I put it on Photoshop without the white bit around it. Um, leave the more if you want more, you part if you want that to select all, it gives it a more better effect. But I'm just gonna leave that. Same with anti aliasing geometry, best, highest will give you the different thing. But I'm just gonna leave it on none, and I'm just gonna run this that click that and Wait, render. Um, I'm zooming it out a little bit so make sure it's online. I'm just gonna render to picture. Well. Um, as you see, it's rendering. So how much time have I got left? I'm not sure. Uh, how much? Is I'm not sure. Anyway, um, there is your tutorial, guys. Um, this is how to. It's hard to make um, a broken sphere in Cinema 4D. Thank you for watching, guys. This has been Tutorial Tuesdays, Episode 1. Thank you.